What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh back with another video and if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Today in this video Lil Bro is about to do the big chop. So the first thing we're going to do is pick the hair out to loosen up the hair so we can go through it and cut it without the clippers getting tangled up or hurting my client. And I'm pretty sure you guys noticed the front of his hair is playing catch up with the rest of his hair. Me and his dad was joking around and said those hereditary jeans are kicking in early since his dad has a thin hairline. So yeah, getting right into the haircut, we're going to go in and knock off all the bolt using our number three guard. Um, I have the number three guard on, but we're actually going to be cutting it down to a one and a half. The reason why I started off with a number three guard is because it will help me be able to cut off all the bolt, but leave enough hair for me to be able to see his hair pattern. So I make sure that when I come back with the one and a half, I make sure I don't gap them and I make sure I cut it in the right direction. This haircut was a really big transformation. I was so happy to be able to show you guys this. It was a whole new look. This cut is about to be dope. He's getting a low taper. And like I said, we're gonna be cutting it down to one and a half on top. It's gonna to look dope. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. So now that we have all the bulk gone, I can come in with my one and a half and I can feel safe with going over his hair because I can see everything that I need to see as far as hair pattern in areas where I may need to cut it a certain way. So that's the reason why I started off with a number three guard. It was for protection because the hair was so long. You don't want to go in with a small guard and end up finding out, oh, he has a cowlick, but you already cut the hair to the height that you originally wanted it to be. And now you have to cut it even lower. And you guys, after somebody's had an afro for so long, really getting their hair to lay down, you have to go over it a couple times. Um, luckily, his hair kind of laid down for me. Some people's hair sticks up, but I went over it a couple times just to make sure I had it all even. So like I said, we're going to be giving my guy a low taper. Usually when I do my low tapers, I set in my ball line right where the ear is attached to the head. Um, that's a perfect area for me. It seems like on most people, it kind of comes out, you know, almost perfect every time. And right after that, I'm going to go in with my caliber um, 50 cal BMG clippers with the lever all the way open and I'm going to go about a half an inch. So right here I'm going to close the lever halfway and I'm going to be working in between the middle notch and the all the way closed notch. Like I said this clipper does have a notch system similar to the Babyliss so usually when I'm fading out that first guideline I work in between the ranges of the um, middle notch and all the way closed. So right here I'm going to go in with my number one guard on with the lever all the way open and I'm going to go up about a half an inch to three fourths of an inch. And we're just going to be sitting in that guideline, making sure that I go over it multiple times to make sure that I got it all even all the way across. You really want to make sure when you're sitting in the guideline that you cut every hair within that guideline because it's going to matter when you come back with the next guard. Right after I'm done with my number one guard all the way open, I drop down to the number one guard all the way closed. And right here, we're going to be fading down. So right after I come in with my one guard closed, I'm going to come right behind it with my half guard. And that should blend it out perfectly, as you guys can see right here. That's why... Every guideline matters. You have to make sure you cut every hair because when you come back behind it with the next guard, it's going to cut according to how you cut the previous guideline. So when I'm doing low tapers, I really focus on fading down. And like I said earlier in the video, we cut it down to a one, in, to a one and a half closed. So I'm going to go in with my number two guard with the lever all the way open to finish off this fade because the two guard open fades into the one and a half guard closed perfectly. So this is the perfect area for me to start my fading down process and I just go from there. So after I go in with my number two guard open, I drop down to the number two guard closed and right here, I came right behind it with the one and a half all the way open. And something I want you guys to really pay attention to is that all these guards are are numbers and sizes. It cuts the hair to a certain length. That's why you want to make sure every guard that you pick up, you cut precisely to the area that you need to cut in because the next guard is just going to come right behind it and cut the hair that's needed to blend into the next guard. So I ended this area of the fade with the one and a half closed. As you guys can see right here, I came back with the one guard with the lever all the way open. This fade is mostly bended, but this area is where we left off at before we picked up the number two guard open, if you guys remember. So this is a very critical area and we're just going to be doing mostly detail work to bring this fade together all the way. And if you guys are very picky and detail and you're skilled with this, I like to use the corner blending technique just to finish off my fades this gets those little dark areas and kind of just nips away little hairs at a time it's kind of like the thinning shears so we're going to jump right into the neck taper starting with the bald line and like i said on my last video you guys you got to have a fading system so you can stay consistent so you can be very accurate on your fades 
on the neckline i'm gonna do the exact same thing i did on the side taper um it may be little changes so you guys just pay attention but for the most part everything is going to be identical so i'm coming back in with the same clippers going in with the lever all the way open with no guard on and i'm going up about a half an inch and i'm going to make sure i go over the guideline with at least about two or three passes just to make sure i get all the hair cut once I have the guideline set in, I'm going to go in with my clippers with the lever halfway closed and I'm just going to start up under the line and just flick up to the guideline, opening and closing the lever as needed, staying in between that middle notch and all the way closed just to get this line blended. Just like I did on the side taper, I'm coming in with my number one guard with the lever all the way open and I'm going up about a half an inch to three fourths of an inch. Um, when I'm using the number one guard, this is a very critical area, so I kind of make enough room so I can make that transition as best as it could be. Just like I did with no guard on, I went over the guideline multiple times to make sure that it was even, and then I went in to blend it. So right here I have the number one guard with the lever all the way closed. And I'm just starting up under the guideline and just flicking up to the guideline, just blending this guideline out until we get to the half guard, and then we'll be done with this part of the fade. So the half guard is gonna pretty much finish this off. Like I said, I faded down from the one guard open to the one guard closed to the half guard. And then it goes down from there, you know, the no guard open all the way to ball. It's just numbers and transitions, that's all it is. You're just cutting the hair to shorter and shorter lengths. Even if you're looking at it going up or even if you're looking at it going down, all it is is cutting hair to certain lengths to make a blend. And right here, like you guys seen on the side taper, I started off with the number two guard with the lever all the way open. Then I'm gonna close it to the number two guard all the way closed. I'm gonna make sure I go over the guideline area multiple times to make sure that I'm cutting the hair because every guard blends into the next guard. So whatever I do with the number two guard is gonna set it up for the one and a half guard as you guys see. Um, the guards are made to make a blend. So that's why it goes from half to one to one and a half to two. It's a reason why it does that because the hair is being cut in a sequence, making it go from shorter to longer. And all you have to do is understand that. And when you get a good fading system, everything else is gonna be so simple after that. So yeah, after I went in with the one and a half with the lever all the way open, I dropped down to a one and a half with the lever all the way closed. And as you guys can see, we're getting closer to the bottom where we started at. And I'm gonna pick up the one guard right after this. So since I pretty much went through all my steps in the neck taper, for the rest of this fade, we're going to be doing a lot of detail work, just making it look the best as I can. So since I already showed you guys one side of the taper, it's gonna be exactly the same on this side, but I'm gonna let you guys see it anyways. I usually cut this part out. I'm just gonna chit chat with you guys for a little bit. Um, you know, I've been so busy lately. Um, I've had a lot going on. I'm, I'm actually about to be moving out of my hometown. I'm gonna be moving down to um, Atlanta, Georgia. So if you guys are around the Atlanta area, let me know in the comments, man. I'm gonna be down there, you know what I'm saying, popping my stuff. Um, really just trying to you know what I'm saying branch out you know go to a bigger city I'm from I'm from kind of like a small city um, I mean it's around a lot of stuff but I feel like you know it's more out there than just staying in my small city so I just wanted to branch out you know what I'm saying get a new perspective um, meet new people and just get out of my comfort zone I feel like it's gonna be a good move for me so if you guys are in the Atlanta area like I said um, I'm about to be there in about the next month and a half I'll be down there cutting um, just get my name around the city, man. Hopefully, I see you guys. If anybody on my channel is from Atlanta, hopefully, I can bless you guys. But yeah, like I said, this side of the taper is no different from the other side. Um, and I hope you guys are learning a lot from my videos. I appreciate the support I've had over the past couple years. I mean, I've had a lot of growth, and I have a lot more coming for you guys. Um, 
seriously i do um i just had a lot of stuff going on lately and once i hit the new city you know what i'm saying meet new people hopefully you know what i'm saying i can do a, i can have a lot of content for you guys link up with some dope people and just really you know what i'm saying expand and just get some growth So right here, I'm going to be prepping the hairline using the one guard open, going with the grain, which is basically like a one and a half, but it's just going to cut just that much to make it lay down. And I'm going to come behind it with the holding spray, and then I'm going to come behind it with the blow dryer and brush it down so the hair can lay down like I want it. And right here, we're going to jump right into this fresh hairline. You guys, we came a long way, man. We almost done with this cut, but we couldn't forget about that hairline, man. Y'all know this is the best part of the haircut. This really took this haircut to a whole nother level, especially coming from where we started from. This guy really did a big chop. And I mean, I made sure I laid the best lining on him I could. We're gonna be keeping it all natural, no enhancements. And I'm gonna sit back and let you guys watch this unfold. Hey y'all, right here, man, I left this part in, man. I had to peep and check and make sure his hairline was straight. When I'm recording these videos, it's kind of a struggle trying to, you know, not be in the way of the camera and really get a nice cut in. But, you know, your guy, I'm solid like that. So I had to, you know, double check and make sure I had, I had my guy right. Just straight up clean, man. All natural. I mean, I hope you guys liking it, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Check out this neckline though. Y'all already know every time on that neckline, I'm a step, man. It's just my favorite part, man. Going around that ear. It's just real satisfying to just watch it all unfold. And y'all already know what's up. Like I said, man, Lil Bro had to do a big chop. We had to get him situated, and he came to the right person. And y'all already know I got him right. Check it out. Y'all know what it is. Let me know what you guys think about this haircut in the comments. And make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video, man. Clean lines, all natural, clean taper. I mean, what more can you ask for? And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on, too, if you're new to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Josh Sex Barber. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.